Hey everybody, it's Susie the Dragonfly. And you know what? I was having like a, a, an awakening. Someone just told me, Susie, pick up your shit. A fucking like 30 year old that I thought was my friend said, Susie, pick up your shit. Are you fucking kidding me? He doesn't even work there. It's just like the light bulb went on. I've lived my life being treated like a second class citizen because I was a woman. Being groomed and told I was supposed to get married and have kids. And thank God my mom said, no matter what, be self sufficient. Don't rely on anyone. Have a career and your own income. And it saved my life because I saw lots of women that don't. And they get trapped with kids. I'm taking a video. Thank you. And it's like I, I moved here after being a professional, working for 28 years with a master's degree and being revered. And I moved here, I was treated like a piece of shit. And I didn't even tell anybody. But they made up their own fucking story about me. Somebody said it was a meth head. Never done meth in my life. I don't even know what it is. People are so insecure and pitiful that they, they see somebody who has any kind of independence or strength or initiative and they have to look at themselves and are so insecure that they make up lies. That's just wrong. But I didn't say it, anything, I took it. But tonight when someone said, pick up your shit, that didn't even work there. No, no, I just, I just Who does that? I feel sorry for his girlfriend and his, if he has kids and like, Women are not servants. We are not substandard. We are not here. Adam gave his rib, well make some fucking barbecue because I know who's strong. If a man had to have a baby, there'd be zero population growth. Do you know I me? Mean? I've been eliminated from five places, three I never even went into. And I was eliminated because I stood up for myself. And when someone grabbed my butt or disrespected me as a woman and violated me, and I knew it, I told the bouncer and the bouncer said, that's how they are. Susan, you gotta go. That's happened to me five, like so many times. Do you know people? It's fucking abused. And the double standard and the shame, it's, they make it so that we don't say anything. So they can keep hurting us. But you know what? Fuck that. Like, we're just so brainwashed. No one has the right to tell you to clean up fucking shit on the floor. Hmm. It's not even my shit. I'm not a fucking maid. You fucking are a piece of shit. I fucking work my fucking ass off all my life. I pay someone to clean up my shit and I respect them and thank them. Who the fuck are these people? This is shit, this town is, is this everywhere? Because if it is, it's wrong. Would you treat, well not half of them don't even have jobs. They don't have kids. They're fucking man children and women children. They have kids and they're not even raising them. Someone else is. And I know what happens when you don't take care of your children. Because I was that child. You are abandoned. You are unloved and unwanted and misery. Thank God you have fucking parents or grandparents that fucking do the job that you have one of the balls to do. But don't tell me to clean up your shit. You don't fucking pay your own bills, let alone mine. I pay my own. I'm self-sufficient. Thank God my mother told me that. Everyone needs to be self-sufficient. Don't rely on anyone. There's no free ride. I don't care what you do. I used, I'm a teacher, I used to say, oh, get a college education, but you know what? I 
could get a college education. I was teaching kids for jobs that didn't even exist yet. Still don't. I mean, you know what jobs are needed? Service industry. Everyone's gonna need to eat, get a haircut. Pay someone to clean up your trash. I'm not your fucking bitch. Fuck you. He felt entitled to say that. A 28, 30 year old fucking piece of shit bouncer. Are you kidding me? You go get a bounce, go get a fucking master's degree, run 40 marathons, raise a kid, two kids, be married for 30 years. Fuck you. Women were, you know, like super bomb, super bullshit. It ain't all it's cracked up to be. Where's the Superman? Clark Kent. I got my glasses on, dollar nine and nine. Because they don't fucking exist. Because they're too busy doing whatever the fuck they want and telling women to clean up their shit. I clean up anybody's shit except my own. If I don't feel like it, I will work my ass off and pay somebody to. I'm done being disparaged. I'm done being disrespected. I'm done with that shit. You don't have to do anything. Look at who you're with. They're treating you like a second-class citizen. What the fuck? It's because they're insecure piece of shit. <laughs> I don't, I needed to, just, that light bulb. It's like fucking, I just got electric shock going, uh, what? Are you kidding me? You don't even know who I am. You aren't anything. You haven't even started your life. I'm retired. Cause I worked my ass off all my life. And I earn this. Don't fucking tell me what to do when you haven't earned shit. You have energy. You have even earned my respect. Now I have zero respect. Women, people, humans, everyone. Don't let anyone treat you like a second class citizen. Because we're all equal. Maybe not. Because they're not even on the same fucking floor as me on the elevator. When you've done everything I've done, and walked in my fucking shoes, you couldn't even do it for a second. Then come tell me to clean up. No, I don't fucking, I would never tell anybody to clean up anything. Go fuck yourself. That's my message. I'm done with it because I keep happening. Be kind, be courteous. Fuck you. How about be a human being and be respectful? Have human decency. They don't like to be called that. Call them out. Don't fuck them. Because they're going to be fucked. Not by me. But shit. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't even know if I'm going to post this because it's like so dark. You know what I am because this is reality. How many women... Are suffering right now and doing all the things that they were groomed to do and told be a good mom this is a caretaker does and the guys are doing whatever the fuck they want treat me like a piece of shit it's bullshit it's bullshit hmm. there's gonna be part two three four five of this one anyway i'm staying up for myself from now on not like in a violent way, just in a... Tell them, what kind of a feeling are you trying to evoke? Why would you say that to me? What gives you the right to tell me to clean up dirt on the ground? How about you lick it up? Because you can be my bitch now. They probably don't even clean up anything. Their mom, they probably live their mom. It's disgusting. I didn't raise my kids to be like that. I raised them to be respectful, independent self-sufficient humans that care for all humanity. Sorry, they didn't have the right parents. And they had no soul. Anyway, 
I mean, I'm gonna stay my night away. You know, I just gave my power away to somebody and wasted my fucking time when I just did a video about don't let somebody take your time. That's, I did. Well, I learned. I was like, yeah, doink. It's easy to get manipulated by a fucking piece of shit. Noted. Noted. I feel like an idiot. No, I'm not going to say anything negative. I learned a lesson. But I had to do it. I hope I helped somebody else because you're probably cleaning up so much shit right now. The mess you didn't even make. Say no. Look at your own shit. You made a mess cleaning up. I'm not your bitch. I'm not your slave. I'm not your property. Have a nice day. I don't know. Comment. I'm a little like upset right now. There's other things going on. I'm trying to just focus on something else. Like, share, subscribe for free. Please give me comments so I can. This is so cathartic to me. You'd have no idea to identify and be able to talk about things. It's really empowering. I hope it empowers somebody else. Thank you. Ciao.